Hi friends, today we're diving into a personal experiment I embarked on in 2023, 90-Day Dopamine Detox. This intriguing journey explores the concept of dopamine detoxing, a cognitive behavioral therapy approach aimed at guiding you towards healthier thinking and behavior patterns. So what is dopamine, you ask? Dopamine is an integral neurotransmitter that our brain produces. It plays a major role in how we experience pleasure, motivation, mood, learning, and movement. It's like the brain's reward system, giving us a sense of satisfaction when we achieve goals or indulge in activities we enjoy. But here's the twist. Just like anything else in life, too much of a good thing isn't always good. When we consistently engage in activities that give us a quick dopamine hit, like consuming sugar, caffeine, alcohol, or even scrolling endlessly through social media, we can inadvertently train our brains to crave these quick rewards. Over time, this can lead to addictive patterns and negatively impact our mood and well-being. Enter the concept of a dopamine detox. This process involves consciously abstaining from these quick fix activities. The goal isn't to eliminate dopamine completely. Instead, it's about resetting our brains to appreciate the more subtle, yet deeply satisfying rewards of life that we often overlook. Activities like reading a book, going for a walk, or even having a meaningful conversation can all provide a gentle dopamine release and in turn offer a sense of contentment that lasts much longer than the fleeting pleasure of a quick dopamine hit. This journey isn't just about abstaining, it's about resetting and rediscovering the joy in simpler pleasures. The first 30 days of the detox are about taking stock and making changes. This phase is all about self-awareness and recognizing your triggers. It's about understanding what activities in your life are causing that dopamine rush, that quick reward that leaves you feeling empty afterwards. It could be anything from checking social media incessantly, to binge watching shows, to indulging in sugary treats, or even shopping sprees. Once you've identified these dopamine triggering activities, it's time to start reducing them. This isn't about going cold turkey and cutting them out completely. That could lead to withdrawal symptoms and make the detox much harder. Instead, it's about gradually decreasing your exposure to these activities. But what does that look like? Let's say social media is one of your triggers. You could start by setting specific times of the day to check your accounts instead of constantly scrolling. Or, if you're a caffeine lover, try reducing your intake slowly, maybe switching to decaf or herbal teas. Now let's talk about withdrawal symptoms. During the first 30 days, you might experience a range of emotions and reactions. You could feel irritable, restless, or even a bit down. These are all normal responses as your brain adjusts to a new normal, a normal that isn't constantly seeking the next dopamine hit. So, how can you manage these symptoms? One strategy is to replace dopamine triggering activities with healthier habits. If you're used to reaching for your phone first thing in the morning, try starting your day with a mindfulness practice instead, like meditating, or writing in a journal. If you're craving sweets, try eating a piece of fruit or going for a walk. The goal is to find activities that are rewarding, but not addictive. You activities that help you feel good in the long term, not just in the moment. It's also crucial to be patient with yourself during this phase. Change takes time, and it's okay to have bad days. What's important is that you're making an effort to break free from the cycle of instant gratification to reset your brain's reward pathways. Remember, change is a process, not a destination. You're building the foundation for a healthier relationship with pleasure and reward. As we move into the second month, it's time to focus on replacing old habits with new ones. You've spent the first month of your dopamine detox journey breaking away from activities that trigger a dopamine rush. Now it's time to substitute those old habits with healthier alternatives. The aim is to rewire your brain to seek pleasure from activities that are beneficial for your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This phase is challenging, but remember, it's all part of the process. You might find yourself yearning for a quick dopamine fix, especially during moments of stress or boredom. But don't give in. Instead, engage in activities that promote mindfulness, such as meditation or yoga. These practices can help you regain control over your thoughts and emotions and reduce your dependence on external stimuli for satisfaction. 
As you continue this journey, you might also consider picking up a new hobby or rediscovering an old one. Whether it's painting, playing an instrument, or even gardening, these activities can provide a sense of accomplishment and pleasure that's far more rewarding than the fleeting satisfaction derived from dopamine-triggering habits. One key aspect of this phase is to develop a healthy relationship with food. Remember, certain foods such as sugar can trigger dopamine release. Instead, opt for foods that increase dopamine levels naturally, like almonds, bananas, and avocados. These foods not only satisfy your hunger but also contribute to your overall well-being. As you progress through the second month, you might notice some changes. You might find yourself less reliant on quick dopamine hits. You might also notice an increase in focus and a newfound clarity of thought. These are signs that your brain is rewiring itself, learning to derive pleasure from more meaningful activities. The second month of the dopamine detox journey is a test of resilience. It's about embracing the discomfort and overcoming the urge to revert to old habits. But remember, every day you choose to stick with your new habits, you're taking a step towards a more balanced lifestyle. It's also important to note that everyone's experience with dopamine detox is unique. The challenges you face and the benefits you reap may be different from that of others. So don't compare your journey with anyone else's. Instead, focus on your own progress, however small it might seem. By now, you should start to notice changes in how you perceive and pursue pleasure. Keep going, you're doing great. You've made it to the final stretch. It's time to solidify your new habits and prepare for life post-detox. Brace yourself, as the last 30 days of this dopamine detox journey will be an exciting phase of learning and growth. As you enter the home stretch, you've likely experienced a shift in your thinking and behavior patterns. By now, you've discovered that this detox isn't just about fasting from dopamine-triggering activities. It's about developing healthier practices and learning how to self-regulate your behaviors. During these last 30 days, you're focused on maintaining these new habits. It's crucial to stay vigilant, making sure you're not falling back into old patterns. You might find yourself more inclined to reach for that sugary snack or spend unnecessary hours on social media. But remember, you've come a long way, and it's important to resist these urges to ensure the detox is effective. In these final days, you might also start preparing for potential triggers post-detox. It's all about planning ahead. Identify the activities or situations that previously led to excessive dopamine release, and plan how you will handle them differently. One thing that's been incredibly helpful during this phase is mindfulness practices such as meditation. It's about achieving mental clarity and focus, which can also help you resist impulsive habits. You might also experience withdrawal symptoms as your dopamine levels return to normal. But don't worry, these symptoms are a sign that your brain is recalibrating its reward system. You might feel a bit out of sorts, but remember, it's all part of the process. These final days of the detox might be challenging, but they are also rewarding. You're not only learning to manage addictive behaviors, but also promoting a more balanced lifestyle. The benefits are numerous from increased productivity to reduced stress and improved overall well-being. In my personal experience, this final phase was a time of introspection and growth. It was a time to reflect on the journey and the changes I've undergone. I've learned to appreciate the simple pleasures in life, the ones that don't rely on quick dopamine hits. Congratulations on making it this far. Remember, the journey doesn't end here. It's about lifelong learning and growth. So as you stride towards the finish line, remember that this detox is more than a 90-day challenge. It's the start of a new way of living. You're not just detoxing from dopamine, you're learning to live a more balanced and fulfilling life. So keep going and embrace the journey ahead. The detox might be over, but the journey continues. Let's reflect on the experience and what comes next. As the adage goes, change is the only constant. And that rings true especially when it comes to self-improvement. Over the course of the past 90 days, you've taken a critical step towards rewiring your brain's reward system. And that's something to be proud of. The dopamine detox journey is an exploration of self, a deep dive into one's habits, and an exercise in self-regulation. It's about learning to replace quick fixes 
and instant gratification with sustainable, healthy habits. Over the course of the detox, you may have noticed a heightened sense of mental clarity. The fog that once clouded your mind may have gradually lifted, replaced with a sharper focus and a deeper appreciation for life's simpler joys. But let's not overlook the challenges. Post-detox, it's easy to fall back into old habits. The world around us is a constant barrage of stimuli, each one a potential trigger for dopamine release. It's important to remember that this detox was not about eliminating dopamine, but about creating a healthier relationship with it. Dopamine is essential for our well-being, playing key roles in mood, motivation, and learning. The goal was never to stop the release of dopamine altogether, but to regulate it, to control it, instead of letting it control us. So, how do we maintain our new habits post-detox? First, keep up with the practices that have served you well during the detox. If mindfulness or meditation helped, continue with them. If avoiding certain triggers was beneficial, keep them at bay. Second, remember that the journey to self-improvement is not a straight line. There will be ups and downs, successes and failures. It's important not to see these as setbacks, but as opportunities for growth. Each stumble is a lesson learned, each triumph a testament to your resilience. Lastly, reach out for support when needed, whether it's a healthcare provider, a supportive friend, or a community of like-minded individuals, don't hesitate to lean on others. We're social creatures by nature, and there's strength in numbers. Remember, the goal isn't perfection, but progress. Keep moving forward, one step at a time. So that's it, my 90-day journey into a dopamine detox. But what about you? Are you ready to take the plunge? The adventure was a revelation of self-control, a test of willpower, and most importantly, an exploration of a balanced lifestyle. We've delved into the world of dopamine, a powerful neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in our feelings of pleasure, motivation, mood, learning, and movement. We also discovered how overstimulation could lead to addictive patterns and negatively impact our well-being. We discussed the concept of a dopamine detox, a cognitive behavioral therapy approach designed to help us develop healthier practices by fasting from activities or pleasures that produce dopamine. Despite the controversy surrounding its scientific validity, the benefits it may bring about, such as increased productivity, reduced stress, and improved overall well-being, are worth considering. We embarked on a 90-day journey, taking you through the different stages of the detox. We highlighted the potential withdrawal symptoms and the importance of seeking professional advice before starting. The journey wasn't easy, but the rewards were profound. We also explored alternative methods to achieve similar benefits, such as engaging in mindfulness practices and meditation. And let's not forget the role of diet in our dopamine levels. We learned about foods that increase dopamine and how caffeine, a commonly consumed substance, affects our bodies. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate dopamine, but to reset our brain's reward pathways, to self-regulate our behaviors, and to foster a more balanced lifestyle. It's about taking control of our lives and making conscious choices that impact our health and happiness positively. So, are you up for the challenge? Consider your own relationship with dopamine triggering activities. Reflect on your habits, your dependencies, your pleasures. Are they in check or could they use a reset? If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description to kickstart your fitness journey. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Until next time, here's to your health and happiness.